The reason I'm painting this way is that I want to be a machine, and I feel that whatever I do and do machine-like is what I want to do. Andy Warhol Warhol's pop artworks are now understood to represent consumer culture and indiscriminate sameness, but he caused a stir in 1964 by exhibiting grocery cart and sculptures, stacked floor to ceiling, at the Stable Gallery. Much like Warhol's Campbell's soup prints, which similarly replicate the likeness of a popular product, the Brillo box challenges the uniqueness and originality of an art object. The finished sculptures are such accurate facsimiles that they appear almost indistinguishable from their cardboard models, yet, Warhol and his assistants carefully created them. Through his machine-like reproduction, void of individual expression, Warhol forces viewers to take a fresh look at commercial packaging and consumer culture. In 1964, Andy Warhol shocked the art world by making hundreds of replicas of supermarket curtains and presenting them as art. Critics said, how could this be art? What is Warhol doing? Has he gone insane? It's the emperor's new clothes, it's copying commercial product, and it's a big joke and a big sort of fake. His most notorious were the Brillo boxes. That same year, my parents got engaged, they married, began collecting art, and bought this yellow Brillo box. The reality was, is this art? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But soon after, my father traded our Brillo box for work by another artist. The Brillo box left our living room and went on a journey of its own. $2,000. 40 years later, the same yellow Brillo box that my parents acquired for $1,000 went on to sell for over $3 million. Was there ever a point where you thought about the Brillo box or wished that you had kept it? Well, very recently, I did. The piece fetched millions. Uh, <laughs> it had a place. Life was changed, ephemeral, it was left. Andy Warhol, born August 6, 1928, Pennsylvania, died February 22, 1987, New York, American artist and filmmaker, an initiator and leading exponent of the pop art movement of the 1960s whose mass-produced art apotheosized the supposed banality of the commercial culture of the United States.